Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial I would like us to learn how to pass a JSON uh, file and then save the contents in the database. If you haven't subscribed, I ask that you may subscribe. I would like us to go ahead and look at whatever it is that I want us to do today. The first thing I would like to create a, a simple json file in a storage app public so we are going to create our json file here and we are going to call it users dot uh, json so that is a uh, the extension of a json file and a json file in this case json stands for javascript object notation and it's a lightweight data interchange format that is human readable and also easily passed by machines, in this case, a computer. It's a collection of name value pairs. So I would like us to go ahead and uh, create this. So we are going to have the square brackets. And then inside here, we are going to have some dummy user data. In this case, in a Laravel application, we usually have in, in the user's table, we usually have ID. And in this case, maybe we can put a user with an ID of one. And then on top of that, we have the name. In this case, uh, we can uh, give them the name of, maybe we can say William. And then we, we have another field, we can have email. And then in this case, we can set the, the email to something of this sort, William at example dot com after that we have other fields which uh, is uh, created at and updated at I do not see the reason why I should do those ones I want to copy this uh, data and then I will also go and uh, paste it down here so these are uh, I'm going to edit this one to an ID of two and maybe this the second user you call them Juma and then the email you be Juma at example.com. So this is um, the sample JSON file that we will be uh, passing or in other words uh, reading. And so I would like us to go ahead and create a controller. So in this case we am going to open terminal. I'm going to open terminal. Yes, terminal, new terminal, and we are going to create a controller. So we are just going to say, use the command php artisan make controller. And then the name of the controller, user controller, like that, and we create it. So it has been created and it is the place where I would want us to pass or in other words uh, process the user data and be able to save it in a database. So the first thing I would like us to do is to have a method here. So we are going to have public function and then we are going to call our function maybe save user. Let's call it that. And then in this case, we are going to open a closure. And then after that, um, there are two ways in which we can be able to uh, pass, uh, in other words, the JSON file. So in this case, I want to begin with uh, the first method, and then I will do another video for the other method. Now, if you're working with um, Laravel versions that are below Laravel 10.5, then uh, you cannot be able to do it differently you will uh, do it as follows so you will you will use the facade storage get in this case you we are going to look into the public and then users dot json then so this you assist us to get our file and then after that we are going to 
um, decode maybe I can call this contents like that then we are going to say records json decode and then inside here we are going to pass our whatever it is that you've been able to fetch from our storage in this case that is the file users the contents of the file users.json after that we are going to loop through in this case we are going to say for each records as record and then now I would like us to go ahead and save our user so we are going to uh, save our user here but before we do that I would just like us to see if first of all we are returning the record so we can say return return records we see in what format they are so after that I need to create a route that will be able to assist us to call that method so in this case we are going to create a new route here you are going to have route uh, get maybe we can have it as a get route in this case we can say uh, save user then after that we are going to uh, have our controller here so we can say user controller class and then pass in the method in this case save user I suppose that is how we have that method uh, mentioned there then we also are supposed to remember to also import that control above here so we are going to just say use app http controllers and then in this case user controller and there is autocomplete that is assisting us to do that so i will go back here and just import the the storage um, helper so in this case we just going to say use illuminate support facades storage like that then we can actually be able to fetch our details using this one and then be able to return them here so let me go ahead and uh, maybe just run our our server development server so php artisan serve as you can see the server is already running so i would like to just visit the to visit chrome and we are just going to visit the url localhost 8000 and then visit the route in this case that is um, save user when i click there as you can see we have the records being returned so, so i think everything is perfect here so you will go ahead and uh, save these user users in the database and the first thing we are going to do is also to ensure that we have imported the user model so use app models user like that and then um, after that we can be able now to loop through our records and be able to save each one of them so what we are going to do we are going to to save in a variable called user and we are going to instantiate a new uh, user instance and then now from there we can say user name 
this case we are going to just access it as follows records and then we are going to chain in this case if you check we are having id then name then email so the first one that i have is username maybe we can begin with user id and then this one will be records id after that uh, we are going also to have to pick the variable user name save it uh, so pick it from records in this case name and then we are also going to have user email records email in the users table we also must provide the password and it's required so i'm going to say user password because we will just be using the default uh, method so we require to provide a password and since now this one we do not have it in our in our li in our file i'm just going to uh, create a file here I mean a password here and we can be able to hash it using bycrypt and then I'm going to create our password I will use the helper str and in this case I can say password and this will be able to create for us a relatively strong password and then of course what I should remember to do is also use that helper str above here the next thing that we are going to do is attempt to save this user and we will attempt to try and see if actually the user can be saved so user save like that I will, uh, save it like that and then i would like to run uh, my my sql and uh, apache in this case because we required to connect our application to the database and be able to see if we can be able to save this user so once the reaction i mean once uh, the the function has been run i want us to just return users saved successfully and then we will go and check in our database and see if that is the case i uh is a typo there i would um want to just uh do show you what i have in uh, the env so in this case in our env we have a database and i have not changed the default database that is here because the default database is actually called laravel that is the database name and then the Pass username is root and the password is an empty string i would still like to use the same credentials so i'm uh, going to just add another terminal here and then we are going to just do the migrations so if you want to change you can be able to change it here and then create that database but even if you do not create uh, laravel nowadays is very uh, nice it can be able to prompt you that you have not created the database and it will assist you to create it so i would like to run the migration php uh, php artisan migrate and in this case i have uh, my database has other records so i would like to remove everything and then do the migration once again so after we do that i would attempt to see if we are going to be able to save this user so i'm going to refresh this one here and it is still returning this because i've not been able to uncomment it in our user controller so let me just see where we have yes return records here i'm going to comment such that uh, we can be able to process the user information so as you can see attempt to read property id on array in this case i think probably we might using i'm using uh there's a there's a problem with how i'm calling this i think i'm doing it wrongly because it is records as record so in this case maybe 
we'll just have to return it exactly where it was so you have id and then here we will also just have it the way we had it initially so we are going to have name and then we are going to have record email and then finally every other thing exactly the way it is and then we delete this it's just supposed to be record not records singular that is why we were having the error so let me again attempt uh, and refresh so when we refresh this as you can see user saved successfully i would like us to just check our database and see if we have any users inserted and as you can see we have a database called laravel and inside this database we can see we have a table we have the users table and our users table has two records in this case we have actually been able to successfully add the users in the database and you can see we have a user with the name William and another one Juma and then William at example.com, Juma at example.com and so on and so forth. So that is basically what you're supposed to do in order for you to save, um, read a JSON file and then save the information from that JSON file in the database. Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point. I ask that you may please subscribe and uh, support us in that way because it means a lot. Thank you very much.